In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a limiter to compress the high volume of your audio in LumaFusion. Let's go! Now, go to your clip that you want to compress. For example, this one right here. Let me compress it back to normal. Okay, right now, this audio here, the track is very really loud. As you can see from the volume there, it hit the, the top, okay, the ceiling of the, the bar right here, right? So you can see the, the one right, right, right there. Now, what you want to do is double tap on it, go to the editing. Now, go to audio, limiter. So you do this icon right here, okay? The audio, they chopped off the head, okay? So you click on that, boom, and this pop out screen will pop up. What you do is just lower it down the gain. If you want, the purpose is to hit the ceiling. And yeah, you can't go any further. Okay, hit the ceiling, can't go any further. So you might uh, you lower it down to let's say minus three. So this is where the best option is to use this uh, calculator. So clear everything, minus three dB, and press enter. Boom, and you get it perfect. So let's play it again. Okay, now it's not hitting the red bars. Now it's just hit the top of the yellow orange uh, bars right there is perfect that's how you do a limiting okay or compression in room of fusion okay so basically imagine a ceiling okay try to hit it boom boom you hit the head on the on your on, on the ceiling so what you do in room of fusion with your audio track is the same you limit or compress the high point okay of the waveform it will no longer go above that one power tip for you before you do your cutting if you just have one long track, right? You apply a compression or a limiter first to the track because Luma Fusion, you can't add it on the track, okay? So you can't apply the whole setting on the track. Now, if you do your cutting, you have to apply, select everything, okay? And apply it. But if you only have one massive audio track, right? You just apply it first and you do your cutting. That saves you a lot more time. So that's the tip there for you. Now, if you want to learn more about audio editing with EQ, check this video out right here where I show you more details on how to apply EQ. Okay, I'll see you next one with another video.